Hey there, here's a how-to on setting up compound time signatures in TE Tuner and how we use it at rehearsal. Uh, I have the privilege of working with the WGI Winds Group called River Valley Sound out of Elk River, Minnesota. And for our 2022 production, we're playing a hymn called Near My God to Thee. And the arrangement is by a BYU group called Vocal Point. It's an awesome arrangement and performance, and I will leave a link in the description. You should jump definitely check it out. Uh, the vocal point arrangement starts in 4-4 four, four time and then goes into 7-8 time and then back to 4-4 four, four for like the arrival section uh, and then goes into 7-8 time to the end. And normally at rehearsal we'd use a doctor beat but we hadn't found a way to set up 7-8 time in it easily. So I was looking at T-Tuner, which as the name describes is for tuning, but it can do so much more. Um, side note, there's another great tuning app called iStroboSoft by Peterson. Uh, it's got a great strobe display that's super easy to see, but I know the kids love TE Tuner because it makes a smiley face when you are in tune, which is cool. It's only $4 in both the uh, iOS and Google Play Android store, and honestly, it's like the best $4 you're ever gonna spend on an app. Uh, normally, I prefer to use TE Tuner on my iPad because it's got a bigger screen with bigger buttons. It also has a longer battery life and a regular headphone jack, so I don't need to bring an adapter to hook it up to a speaker. But I'm gonna show TE Tuner on my phone because I always have my phone with me at rehearsal, and it's good to know how to access all the features on the small interface. So let's go to the metronome. First, you wanna click the list icon to get to all of the preset groups. And I created a preset group for our closer by clicking the plus button. I'm just gonna call it RVS Closer. And uh, no matter what the time signature is, we always use a standard 8 beat count in when we are rehearsing. So I turn that on and it's already set to start. And let's set it up to do uh, 8 beats. So I'll go to beats and crank this up to eight. And then I do wanna check this optional beat equals quarter because this is important for the seven, eight stuff that we'll add later. And then I go down to the voice section and I'll turn off all of the voices. And then I will turn on all of the beats. And then that is good. And then we'll go back by clicking the back in the upper left. Now, because there is mixed meter in this tune, uh, we'll want to uh, check this icon. And in fact, I'll go through these icons real quick um, that are under the count in. So the eighth equals eighth. We'll make sure that the tempo stays consistent between meter changes. Next is the accent. I always leave that on. The claves is actually for the sound. I like to set it to the doctor because that sounds like the doctor beat style sound that we're normally used to. Um, and then this last one with the notes is for drone stuff, which we're not gonna configure today. So I will just turn that off. Then I'll configure the first section. It's the intro and it's in 4-4, four, four. so I'll click into here, let's type intro. And I'll leave this with uh, on the with meter section, and it's at 4-4 four, four already, and I know our first section is 32 bars, so let's enter that real quick. And use tempo is selected, and the tempo I'll keep fixed, and for us, I want it at 160. Then you can customize the metronome beats. Purple is an accent, gray is off, and blue is a standard beat. And then you can just touch the back arrow 
when you're done here. And then we'll add another section for the seven eight. Click the plus sign. Let's call this seven eight. And we'll keep the width meter. And then under meter, we will choose seven eight. And our tune goes one two one two one two three. So I will check this two plus two plus three selection. And I know that our first section is 18 bars. And then for tempo, I will select relative so that it doesn't change from the previous tempo. And then you can go down and customize the metronome beats. I actually like where that's at. So let's go see how it works. I'll click back to go to the closer group. And then we can go back again to make sure that our RVS closer is selected. Then we can click the X to go to the main metronome screen. So here's the weird thing I think that prevented us from using TE Tuner when we started the season. When you switch from 4.4 to 7.8, the tempo code comes up as 106.7. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or a feature, but it's because the 7.8 beat is a dotted quarter that you can see up in the upper left, whereas the 4-4 is a quarter. And that's fine because 106.7 is exactly two-thirds of 160, and that's fine because two-thirds of a dotted quarter is two-eighth notes or a quarter note. So this should just be fine. Now I can tap e either of these presets to load them. Here's the 4-4. And here's the 7, 8. And you can see that this highlighted 1, 2, 3, 4 icon over on the right side is highlighted. So we'll always get that 8 count intro before our preset runs. So now here's where that optional beat in the counting is important. Uh, if we want to edit it, we can actually hold and touch the 1, 2, 3, 4 icon. That'll bring you into the count in section. If I don't have the optional beat count in uh, equals quarter, what happens is the count in will actually be at the 106 tempo rather than the 160. And you can preview that by pressing play. So what I want to do is turn that back on and that'll always get us the quarter note count in at 160. So now that I got my preset groups, I can select the sequence button, which is like this box with an arrow. And we can run through the presets from beginning to end. I'll turn off the repeat. Um, there's a useful side effect when you're using the um, sequence feature and what it'll, what it'll do is it won't switch to the next preset until the current is the current measure is over and I'll show you how that's useful so if we're running let's say one set before the 7 8 time and it's only 16 counts instead of the full 32 counts that we've programmed here what we can do is run the 4 4 section and then on the fly, I can tap 7, 8, and it won't switch to that measure. It won't switch to the, the mixed meter until the measure that it's currently on is over. So I'll show you. So we'll go a couple measures of 4, 4. And then I'll switch over to 7, 8 on the last measure. So you can see how that's useful if you need to switch on the fly from one section to the other. Now I can actually add the additional 4-4 four, four, and 7-8 preset groups uh, and have the whole tune programmed in here so I can let the Met run from the beginning to the end of the tune. Before we go, I want to show you one more thing that I think is important. I was talking to my brother-in-law who works at the Spring School District in Texas and he was telling me about Philip Geiger, who's a band director in the district, who actually is the co-founder of TE Tuner, um, which started in 2012. 
And if you know anything about music programs in the US, many don't have the budget to get new equipment every year. And this is my fourth generation iPad from 2013. It is currently stuck on iOS 10, but T-Tuner still works perfectly on this old hardware. Whereas several other apps aren't receiving updates or they just flat out don't work on this iPad anymore. And as a software developer myself, I understand that engineers are always looking to use those shiny new features, but I appreciate the intention it takes to maintain backwards compatibility for older hardware. So kudos to Mr. Geiger and his team. Uh, I'll leave a link to his uh, BOA Hall of Fame induction if you want to learn more about him and his career. And I hope you find this guide useful for the metronome features, uh, and I hope they help you rehearsing with your ensemble.